Uh, I got one that's like 32 inches, one that was like 36 or so. Uh, trolling, did a little video on that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm doing a little how to, how to clean a striped bass. This is the way I do it. I've you know done a lot of them. I have my fish cleaning business. I don't come down and just do a whole fillet because you miss a lot of the meat. I just come down, I take my time, I make an incision again like we did with the sea bass. Behind the fin, you come up, come back, and just work the tip all the way back, and then we just fillet the meat out of it so you don't lose hardly any of the meat. So right here we go in behind the back, come all the way out, up here, and we're just using the tip of our knife. We're just coming down the backbone, you can feel it. Just going right along the fins, right along the fish. Come in, now on the tail, I'll go, I'll punch through, and then all the way out on the tail. So, clean the scales off, because you'll get scales up here. So then you see it, you just peel it back. And you're right along the backbone, you can feel the backbone. You can feel it. Just push it right up alongside it, right up. And then you can just work yourself right down the bones. Try not to punch through like I just did. And just nice easy motion. Work up towards the head, top of the head. And you'll cut that piece. And just work. That's the ribs right there. Start to work down the ribs. Bend in the fillet knife or bend in the bone knife. And then you're right on the back. That belly piece, you're just coming right down. Leave the gut sack in, and then just come right out the other side. Nice clean fillet. We'll put that in the pan, and then we'll skin it here in a minute. But see, all your bone. There's your backbone. All the meat's off. You know, off your off from your dorsal. All the meat's off of there. Hardly anything left on your, on your rib cage, and there'll be a little tiny bit of bone on your fillet, but that's it. Everything will be off. So then again, on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. And we come back in behind, come up towards the head, work this right down the backbone. You don't want to push it in too far. You want to keep it so that you can. You don't want to, because a lot of times what you do is you'll miss some meat by pushing it in too far, and then you just peel it up. This one can be a little bit trickier with the bones there. I missed a little bit, made a little bit of a mistake, caught a couple of the bones. But once you get it rolling, then you punch it through. Peel it back, peel it back, peel it back. A little bit of bone there, that's what's giving me the problems. And then you come down. Almost where the anal vent is, and then you punch it through, and again, clean fillet, and you just, carcass is clean, not a lot of meat, a little bit on there, I missed a little bit, but uh, right there, also what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you real quick, making a, alright, I'm going to take out the cheeks. It's almost like a scalp sized piece of meat. Come in behind the eyeball socket. I'm gonna kind of just punch it through. It's actually very tender. Real good little pieces of meat. Old timers used to cut the cheeks out of everything. Bluefish cheeks, striper cheeks. So, just like a scalp. Real fatty, a lot of flavor. 
Just line them up. Yeah, you just cut around them. Alright, cut, cut around fish. down for here. Cut in, cut towards the back. And down. Cut it up. Find your bone. Kind of waste a lot less fish doing it this way. A lot of guys come and just cut, hack through everything, and hack through the bones. But I think we leave a lot less on the uh, on the carcass. So we're gonna oh, get a little blood in the house. Oh no. So again, punch it through. Down, across the backbone. End of the dorsal, punch it through. Pick it up. Oh, good. Thank All right, guys. Belly. We're gonna we're gonna skin them. I use the same knife just because it's flexible. Got a nice flex to it. Just comes up under meat and skin. Slowly start to start to work. You can feel if it bites into the skin. I don't want it to pick into the skin. So there you go. Skin and meat. Skin in one hand, meat in the other. Same thing. Work from the back. Back here, flexible. Head down. All the way up and through. Goes right off. Skin's clean. Meat on one end. Fluid motions. Fish fillet. Skin. Start to slide too far down. So I just start over again up there. Push it through. Clean. Skin. Alright, I'm gonna trim here in a minute. I'm gonna show you how to trim. I'm gonna take all the dark meat out of my striper. Always. Alright guys. One thing I always do, especially stripers, tuna, and everything, I take the dark meat out. I take all that dark meat out, I'll split it down the middle. Trim the, trim the dark meat off. Some people say, ah, it's no big deal. I like, you know, pure white meat. Don't like any of the, you know, the, the dark meat on them. My family, my wife's a little bit, uh, you know, she gets a little fishy taste, she's not, not keen into it. So I always, uh, always try to trim, take everything off. And then, you know, it's not, it takes a little bit extra time. You just kind of peel it down in there. The big part to take out is that middle line, you know, and then in here you can just get up underneath of it. So. Just 
like that. Now a little bit's be okay. The real mean, <clears throat> the main strong part of it is this real dark line down here, down the middle. This one it runs that bloodline. So I get right up underneath of it. Yeah, it's up. Shelf life. You know, if, if you freeze it, it's dark meat. You, know, you don't want it getting into the little whitey flesh. So, you just pick through there, come through here. The thing I'm going to do with this one is uh, I'm going to cut them on a bias cut because I'm going to pan sear them. So, I make like you can do this <clears throat> if you're making uh, like striper parm or uh, any kind of, you know, if you're going to bread them, thin them, you know, thin breaded. And you cut basically on a bias. You make your first cut is at an angle. So it's almost, it's actually almost flat. So you come in, you got that first one done, and then this cuts, this cooks evenly. Nice, you know, almost flat, nice meaty thickness throughout, same, same thickness. So you just keep your your blade on a good bend and it <clears throat> makes nice cutlets and it's especially nice if you're going to do a parm, you know, make striper parm or make, you know, striper marsala, you know. And again, just keep working yourself back. This one's going to be for tonight. Line out of that. Trim. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to do these tomorrow. I'm going to 